Okay, the following tradition, we're going to go ahead and do a hello world for JavaScript, or rather for jQuery. So in order to use jQuery, we need to do a little addition to pretty much every page we run. And uh, I pretty much have this as part of my boilerplate at this point. First thing we have to do is lo load in the framework, the, the toolkit, that is um, jQuery. jQuery is not something that naturally appears in the browser. It's a set of scripts that some folks have written and made available that we can use, but we have to load them first. I'm loading them from, um, if you look at most tutorials, it says to load them, download a copy of it, put it on your, on your uh, server, and load it in that way. In this case, I'm actually, I guess, cheating a little. Um, I'm downloading it directly from Google. Um, a number of people do this, there's some advantages to that, um, but I, I'm going ahead and loading the scripts directly from the Google APIs. That's the first thing we have to load in. The second thing we have to load in um, is our own script. Um, I'm just going to take out the reference to the Google APIs and say um, I'm going to put it in a JS folder and I'll call it uh, myscript.js. So right here I have added a JS folder. There's nothing in it right now, but I'm going to reference a new script called myscript.js. So I'll go ahead and save this. Um, file save. Uh, this is a way of using what's called unobtrusive JavaScript. So the only changes to my HTML are these two lines, which is pretty important because usually JavaScript messes up your HTML. Here it's only going to be those two lines. That's all I'm going to change. Then I'm going to create a new script and I'm going to uh, save it as um, in the JS folder myscript.js. There's a boilerplate also that's always used for a J for the jQuery that I do, and that is you always have the the beginning of a ready function and then closing it here. Um, every single script I ever do has this, and, and you probably should as well. This slash slash is just a comment. It's a way you can do comments in JavaScript. Um, you just do slash slash, and then you everything after that is ignored. Um, so uh, we can erase that. But everything that we actually write is going to go inside this ready function. The ready function is seems a little silly, but what it is is it waits until the whole document is loaded before it runs any of your scripts. That might seem obvious or simple, but in practice, when you're doing JavaScript without jQuery, it becomes a real pain to know when it is you're supposed to um, actually execute code. And so this says just wait until the whole page is loaded and then you can start executing code. Now, within here, all of your commands, I guess we could call them, or rules, or in this case, procedures, um, functions, all of them are probably going to start with a dollar sign, which is kind of the jQuery identity thing. And then inside here, um, a selector. The selectors in jQuery are exactly the same as the selectors in CSS, which is extraordinarily convenient because you only have to remember one way to select items on the page. So for example, if I wanted to affect the H1, I could put the H1 here. If I have something that's an ID or a class, I could affect that as well. So the H1 over here is, actually there's two H1s, there's this one and this one. Um, we, could, we could limit it to the one in the header if we wanted to, but let's go ahead and affect both of these. And we're going to do something, we're going to change the text of those H1s to hello world. So basically what this says is select H1 and affect the text inside of those H1s of any tag marked H1. So we're going to save it, save, and we're going to refresh. And so this has changed the text on these two. Now this is kind of silly, right? Because you wouldn't want to do that. You could just do it in the HTML. But it gives you an idea of the power. Actually, I can change anything on this page at all that I want to by selecting it and making changes to the way it looks, to the actual content, or just about anything else. Um, so this is just our quick hello. And from here, we'll get into some more interesting stuff.